Grace and peace, everyone. I hope you're well and blessed today. I am in John 2, starting in verse 15. So Jesus found some cords and then made them into a whip. Then he drove out every one of them and their animals from the courtyard of the temple. He kicked over the tables filled with money and scattering it everywhere. And he told the merchants, get these things out of here. Don't you dare commercialize my father's house. And I find um, this really amazing and feel like this is a parallel of what's going on right now in the natural and the spiritual. Because we have a lot of economic shaking right now. We have a lot of things that we're having to learn to really um, prepare for and either trust in God or trust in man. And if you come down here to the commentary, it says Jesus came to sacrifice his life, which would end animal sacrifices and the financial tyranny of religion. So I really do feel like God is trying to separate his church from the financial realm. And he's trying to break these poverty mindsets, which doesn't necessarily mean you're poor. It just means you're lacking. It also means that we're, that we're depending on man and money for our provisions when God is our provider. So I just want to pray right now. Father, I just thank you for Jesus. I thank you for the example he led. He is the word become he is the word become flesh. And I thank you that you are leading and guiding us through this, Father. Even though we're in really uh, tumultuous times and our finances seem to be stretched right now. Father, I just ask that you break these poverty mindsets that we have and we just learn to lean on you for our provision, for everything that you need to provide us, not our government, and that we learn to lean on one another, Father, helping one another and learning not to hold on to our money and our things and our valuables so tightly because they are worldly. And in one second, they can be burned up and be nothing. So, Father, I discuss you to help us to break these mindsets, letting go of things we need to let go of, and extending our hand in help, whether that means financial time or giving of our things, Father. We just praise you and we thank you for what you are doing and how you are shaking things up, how you are opening our eyes and our ears to hear and see the truth and decipher between all the lies and the rhetoric of the enemy. We just praise you, Jesus, for what you did in conquering and overthrowing the enemy, taking all of our sins to the cross and nailing each one of these ordinances to that cross. In Jesus' mighty and precious name, amen.